In this video, we're looking at how to find the correlation coefficient from the Casio FX83 and 85 GTCW calculator. So before we begin finding the correlation coefficient, just make sure that you have reset your calculator first of all. When you've reset your calculator, the screen will look like this. We need to set our calculator to statistics mode. So from the center dial, arrow across to statistics and click on OK. We then scroll down to two variables and click on OK once again. We now have three columns, X, Y and frequency. As I look at the table of data, everything from the top is going to go into the X column. So I go to my calculator and I type in 11 and I press equals. When you press equals, you'll see the data go into the table. I then put in my 17, press my equals, 15 equals, 13 equals and so on and so on you put in each piece of data individually. When I get to my final piece of data, 14, I press my equals. I now want to arrow across to the Y column. So from the center dial, once again, press the right key and then press on the arrow key and you'll notice it'll bring you back to the very start, which was 11. That was my first X input. From here, I now put in my Y inputs. So starting with 13 on my calculator, followed by equals after each one. So 21 equals 20 equals and so on and so on. 12 equals 14 equals 14 equals 17 equals. When you've hit your last equals, you then come down and press on the equals symbol again. The data has now been saved. I want to retrieve my correlation coefficient. So I scroll down here to REG results, right click, and I click on Y equals A plus BX. So the equation of the line basically, click on OK. You will see here the OR, the third piece of data, OR standing for correlation coefficient. So in this particular question, my correlation coefficient is 0 0.865. Depending on the question, it may ask you to round it to one decimal place or two decimal places. And just remember that your correlation coefficient will always be between minus one and positive one, where you have your positive correlation from zero to one and negative correlation from zero to minus one. So that's a short video on how to find the correlation coefficient from the new FX calculator. 